Hi, Mark here from NewHomeTricks.com and today I want to talk a little bit about using your voice to control your smart lighting through your PC. In the last video I explored how I've been looking at using Siri on the iPhone to control my Philips Hue setup. Now that works reasonably well and it makes use of Apple's HomeKit system, but as we saw in the video there were a few restrictions. Because Apple insists on HomeKit being almost their own system inside the controllers that you have in your devices, um, it means that you might not always be able to access all of the native functionality in your smart home kit. So in the case of Philips Hue, for example, I found that I couldn't turn on some of the native scenes that I have defined inside the Philips Hue app on the controller. Um, you know, you can turn the lights on and off and you can set the brightness, um, but there are certain native functionality that you just can't access from inside Apple's system. In the world of Windows, um, Microsoft don't have their own uh, smart home system to compare to Apple HomeKit. So here, any um, apps that you might use, third-party apps, for example, in the store, they have to connect directly to the devices that you are attempting to control. In the case of Philips Hue, uh, any third-party app that you use will need to connect to your bridge. But that means that it gains complete access to all of the functionality of that bridge, including things like the native scenes. If that app integrates with Cortana, Microsoft's voice assistant on Windows 10, then it means that you can use your voice to control your lighting through your PC. And that could be any PC device. It could be a laptop, it could be a desktop computer with a microphone attached. In my case, I have a tablet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you some of the things that you can do. I'm using the same third-party app that I used in my previous video about PC control of Philips Hue, uh, Hutro. So let's give this a go. Lights on. Turning all lights on. And that's turned all the lights in the house on. Uh, if I just turn that back off again. Turn on living room lights. Okay, so that's turned the lights back on, but just in the living room. Um, you have to be very careful about how you say things with the Hutro and Cortana um, uh, integration. So, for example, if I say this slightly differently, turn living room lights on. Okay, so it detected exactly what I said, but because I said it slightly differently, for some reason that doesn't work, and instead of turning the lights on, it's just done an internet search. So you have to be really careful with what you say. Now, I'm not sure if this is down to Hutro, the third-party app, or whether this is about more about Cortana. In every other respect, Cortana, as a voice assistant, is more than capable of understanding the same thing said in different ways, but obviously when it comes to third-party apps, those apps simply, presumably, just supply a list of specific commands that they will accept and that Cortana will listen for. And if you say it slightly differently, it doesn't seem to work. So you have to be very careful about how you say things. But there are other, other things that you can do. So if I just turn the lights back on, I'm just using the tap switch here to act as a quick shortcut. Turn my living room lights red. Okay, so I can change the color of lights there and I can activate certain scenes as well. So for example, set lights to relax. and that's activated the relax scene. Now, note there that I didn't actually specify which room I wanted to activate the scene in. Fill it, yeah, the Hutro app will simply look at the available scenes on the Philips Hue controller and activate the one that's named with the scene that you've used. However, in this case, the relax scene does appear twice. It's defined both for the bedroom and for the living room, so it will actually activate that throughout the whole home, which can be a bit of a problem and I've not yet been able to find the right way of saying uh, the command to Cortana to activate a scene only in a particular room. Um, of course, that's a built-in scene, the relaxed scene. You've got things like Energize and Savannah Sunset and things like that, um, but I've also defined a few uh, scenes in here. So, uh, for example, if I want to activate a, a particular scene that I've set up myself. Set my lights to movie. I didn't say that quite right, so it's not uh, found it. So you see the problem with this 
um, system that you have to be very, very careful how you say things, otherwise it doesn't work. Set lights to movie. Okay, so that's at a very, very dimmed lighting level that I have defined as a scene that I made myself. So you can see that there are some advantages to this. You can make use of your own built-in scenes that you have on the Hue controller. There are also some downsides. It's very restrictive in how you say the command to the voice assistant, and that might put a lot of people off. Again, as with the Siri system, it's not something that I would necessarily see myself using on a very, very frequent basis. Um, there's just too many restrictions again here as to how you can use it, just as with Siri. Yeah, you can say things to Siri in a much more natural way, and there's various different ways of saying the same thing, but because of the restrictions in being able to access some of the native functionality, it's not something I can see myself using on a regular basis. Same with Cortana. It's great that I can access the native functionality, but the restrictions in how you can say things would probably drive me mad after a while. Um, you'd probably just make too many mistakes and just give up very quickly. Having to remember how to say something to a voice assistant, well, it's one of the things that a modern voice assistant is supposed to eliminate. You're not supposed to have to remember to say things in a particular way. You should be able to say your command in a variety of different ways, and the system should understand exactly what it is that you're saying. And this kind of third-party integration with Cortana doesn't seem to have reached the stage where it's delivering that yet. Now, maybe there are some other third-party apps that I could have a look at, and I'll have a play around, see if I can find one that's better. And maybe Microsoft will bring in their own smart home integration technology at some point in the future. Remains to be seen what happens there. Haven't heard of anything, but of course it's the sort of thing that maybe they'll do. Um, but for now, Again, I don't really think that this is something that I'm going to be making use of on a regular basis. Um, again, as usual, I've written up a companion blog post. Please have a look for that in the description below or visit the website newhometricks.com. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.